Guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Uh, back after uh, a little bit of a hiatus to celebrate my birthday and uh, St. Patty's Day celebration uh, weekend and a little bit of uh, New York travel and all that good stuff. Back with a, a new video. Uh, this time, this beer comes from Captain Lawrence in, uh, in the form of their Powder Dreams line. It's a New England IPA, dry hopped with mosaic lupulin powder, Simcoe and Ella hops. Uh, this thing clocks in at 7.5% ABV and didn't get any IBUs. Mosaic lupulin powder. Uh, the first Powder Dreams uh, beer that I did uh, seemed to be about a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, was really well received, watched a lot, even though I just felt like I was so green behind the ears. Uh, I just want to say I really appreciate all those those watches. Um, Untapped doesn't really have any sort of different write-up than the back of the can does, honestly. Very, uh, very thin in the description, kind of a cop-out. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, this uh, I got this from the Bottle Rockets shop on Seneca, next to sh the new Shays Seneca uh, location there. Seneca and Casanova sort of... Uh, intersection so I'm much appreciated there and it really did take me by surprise uh, at how nice this beer was the first time around nice sunny day almost looks like it's going to bridge us into uh, spring in Buffalo finally and it's a perfect sort of sunny day to highlight the colors of this beer man it is all sorts of beautifully vibrant uh, bright yellows and um, a little sort of the deeper oranges when you get into the fat of that glass. Do you know what I mean? Really well carbonated. Uh, it's got that really popping white head on it. Do you know what I mean? Um, Mosaic. What was the other one? Simcoe. And Ella. Ella is the, they say it's the little sister to Galaxy. A um, little bit less upfront notes, but still packs the same sort of punch. So let's see what kind of notes we can get on the nose. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know that Galaxy Mosaic sit, sit mo uh, combo, Ella mo. Uh, they just seem to play really nicely. That that mosaic uh, kind of comes across as a little on the dry side. You do you get a nice orange sort of notes. Uh, nothing crazy. A little bit of grapefruit in there. Yeah, definitely you can get that little dry burn on it too. Even on the aroma on a slightly windy day. It smells really nice. Ever so um, suggestions of, uh, of a honeydew. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> little yeasty qualities. Nothing uh, crazy though. It's just a taste... I think or it smells just exactly how you I think you would want a beer like this to smell so let's see how this thing tastes right wow it is it's really smooth um and you I think you get met with this really um kind of short-lived aggressive upfront sweetness with a little bit of that mosaic burn to it. Sweet and uh, earthy and flowery. It's kind of a crazy take. I'm not quite sure how much of it, of this, what I'm tasting is uh, Simcoe. How much is the uh, Ella? But you do get a very, I don't want to say subtle because they're not hard to find, um, but they're very understated sort of citrus qualities. They're, uh, there's orange, there's some grapefruit. Stan, come here. Uh, it's light and it's bright and it's a little on that sweeter side. It's, it's good. It's a different type of uh, New England take. Man, man, oh man. I was really quite taken back by this. I'd gotten a four pack. Uh, I grabbed an extra one out of the refrigerator uh, as my research um, 
can. And I was, you know, really impressed. I'm still impressed with it a, a week later. <sighs> yeah, sweet melons, um, grapefruit, a uh, little bit of riny orange. It's kind of what I'm getting, uh, general flowery sort of, of qualities. Um, it's still, it's not the smoothest I've ever had in the mouth, but it's still uh, smooth enough. Um, there's almost no aftertaste. It's a very uh, dry, almost that, you know, that lupulin burn sort of, of dryness. Almost, not, not quite brute, but it is dry. Um, 7.5% uh, negligible. Uh, it's it's really not that hard to uh, to drink, um, although I did have it uh, before and, and it did do me uh, pretty well just after that one can. I don't, I don't know why, but yeah, it did me well. Um, I don't know. Uh, there are a lot of beers in this Powder Dreams line, um, and I haven't liked all of them to the same level that I've liked this. Um, this is extremely enjoyable. Uh, you know, and if these, if this line of beers was something that they that were always available, I would buy this again in a heartbeat. So I don't know if you guys uh, see this out either in singles or in four packs. I don't think it would be a, uh, a terrible idea to buy it. Not at all. So that's it for me, guys. I, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this isn't going to be a hard beer to drink uh, and finish and all that good stuff. So I really appreciate the, uh, the watches and the thumbs up and uh, all the comments and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this beer. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.